What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going online and looking at people's deepest, darkest confessions. Let's get right into it. Before we get into it, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on post notifications so you miss, never miss a video. And go check out King the CEO channel in the description down below. Road to 150. <laughs> Uh, let's get right into this video. Number one is I cut off all contact with everyone. I know I moved to Kenya. I tell people a fake name and a fake background, and I haven't and I have made it appear to my family that I died on a boat trip in, Paci in the Pacific. No, I'm not joking. I am dead in the U.S. First of all, I would not do that. If you're faking your death, teach me. Teach me how to do that. Teach me how to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how did you get that all together. Like, how did you get that? How did you get a fake background, a fake name? You need to be teaching them all. You need to be teaching all these stuff. But I'm trying to figure out how you did that. But you wrong. You need, you need to go to church. You need Jesus. Hallelujah. This question is long story short. Long story short, I was gay, child hooker. Um, my cousins for two straight summers for money. You need church. You wrong. I'm you wrong. Sweet home Alabama. Like, why would you even do that? Like, that's your cousin. Did you get caught though? Let me stop. <laughs> Third question is once I once helped my female friend family by taking care of their cat for a week. Every day for a week. I would go over there and snoop around their house. I found my friend's I found my friend's diary and proceeded to read the entire thing. I used this information to get her to like me and she is currently my wife. You wrong for that. And that's not a happy relationship. That is called a toxic relationship. And a toxic relationship is not gonna work. If she know you used her, that's not that's it just it's not gonna work out. Fourth question is I don't wanna be with my girlfriend anymore, but she has but she might have cancer and I feel like they need to stay in the relationship. Edit. She's healthy and I split up with her before we found out. Yay yeah, yeah, for life working out. I mean, you shouldn't have left her with if she had cancer in the first place. If she's healthy, you need to make sure she's all the way healthy. Now, fifth question. When I was 17, I had an argument with my father and told him to off. Later that evening, he hung, he hung himself our argument was the last time we spoke to anyone in our family and for that i feel a terrible amount of guilt for for my punishment is to live the rest of my days in shame and guilt he left he never left a note either i'm so sorry i mean you couldn't have known that was gonna happen you couldn't have known it was gonna happen i'm, I'm so sorry I, <laughs> I mean you couldn't know it was gonna happen though but if to get through it i feel like you need counseling and therapy and <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but you can go to like therapy and all that and, you know, get people to help you and get through this. And, you know, if you, it don't, it wasn't your fault. There's probably plenty to do it, but he, he was probably doing it anyway, but you probably just forced, like, it, it, he probably just got to the point. He's probably going to do it, you know, in the next day or something like that. Everyone thinks I have a good job and roommate, but I'm homeless and have a positive and have a and a prostitute over for over one for over y'all know a prostitute is but i'm pretty sure it's bad and you shouldn't be doing it and tell me the truth you should you shouldn't be doing that i still have an i still have imaginary friends i'm almost 30. that's fine i mean i have imaginary friends because i don't got any friends but um i mean i have friends Yeah, I have friends. Edit. Revise to my final thought. I am scared that if anyone knew, I would be locked up and heavily medicated. It's not really a likely scenario in my case. I mean, having imaginary friends at what at, at any age is not. I mean, it's not like it's it's, it's normal. Uh, I gotta look inside the camera. Uh, I have been pretended. I have been pretending to be colorblind to everyone I've I haven't ever known, including my own parents since I was since I was in third grade. I am now 28 years old. I even convinced an op 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 optimist a monster mist of it to mist of it. So you pretend to be colorblind. Wait, how did they not find that they didn't see the color? Like, I mean, you can't literally see it, but I was they didn't take you to a doctor or something. I'm pretty sure that would have took you to a doctor if that's the case. I'm pretty sure they would have took you to a doctor, but they didn't. So I guess they're fools for that because they should have took you to a doctor. But you're not right. You need 
somebody. You need help. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be doing that. When I was 13, I called my father and bed with my 15-year-old brother's girlfriend, also 15. I haven't seen her since. I haven't seen her since. But I've been blackmailing my father with it for over the last six years. He should be doing that. You right. Mm-hmm. You right. Mm-hmm. Keep blackmailing him too. I will blackmail him till you can get everything you can out of him and then snitch. <laughs> That's what I would do. That's exactly what I would do. I was hit by a truck a few years back. I'm so sorry. And was diagnosed with retroid as an amnesia and awarded a two two point five million dollar settlement. Dang, I don't need that money. I have used the money to move it to Florida and I'm currently in Boca Raton. I faked the whole thing because I hated my life more and I refused to leave. I haven't seen my family since and made a new life. I'll do the same thing. Oh uh, no. <laughs> no. I, I I mean, to get that much of money, though. I mean, how could you fake that and they didn't test you and then they didn't prove you were wrong? That's slow. Doctors, get back with doctors. Next question. Every night when I go to bed, I have a little pillow and assortment of blankets. Then that I pretend is this little girl I like. She would never like me in real life. In fact, she doesn't. So I just so I just just play pretend. It's an inherently creepy, but it's what keeps me from totally being a wreck all the time. Anyways, uh, that's normal. Yeah, that's normal. That's one of the normal things we saw in here. I have to cut that out. I was falsely accused of a girl in high school. The result of I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what that word means. Uh, I, I can't. I can't spell that word. I don't know how to read. Ostracizing was was very scary in that it just the uh, tip of the iceberg. I outran the stigma when I left the state for college. If it ever catches up to me, like it was in high school, I'll probably become suicidal. How many times can people endure people? How can how many times can people endure? can you endure people telling you that you're a monster before you believe them why was you even the girl oh i mean oh oh it says you're a falsely accused so you didn't do it so people like so who snitched on you like didn't do it because you're like your enemy like they're you like your enemy or something um next question i'm 25 I'm 25 years old, female high school teacher. I've got my multiple off. I've got multiple off on multiple associations, accusations. While I while while finalizing about one of my six-year-old male students on top of the desk in my classroom. There's not there's no accusations in the future. Thinking that there's not accusations. Really not accusations if you think that. Next question. I'm a 13, I'm a 33-year-old man who is short, fat, balding, still a virgin. Damn. But and a bar and a beer of small of a small, okay. It was over me. It was over for me before it began. So you just kill yourself at this text. Okay. I feel I'm not feeling suicidal for the first time in years. But I can't tell them because I don't want them to know I was to this out in the first place. I mean, they can't do anything about. I mean, if you tell them, they can. Uh, what they're gonna do if you tell them? They're not gonna put you in like a prison or something. So you can't go to no psych ward or something. I get paid to do nothing. I would love to be you. I like older women because they make me feel safe, and I like the thought of women in charge. How old are you? Are you underage? I'm attracted to cute girls more than hot girls, and I love the wholesome parts of a friendship or relationship more than anything. Okay. I have been peeing in the sink ever since I was tall. Ever since I was tall enough to do it. So what was you doing? You wasn't tall. You were sitting down. Just quit my corporate job so I can move to the country and homestead. You still getting? You still getting paid though? Like you still getting paid though? Thanks, my wife.
I placed my wife's dying plants. You grown for that. You should have at least told her. You, you just should have at least told her. Sorry, I'm back. I had to go to the store and come back. Anyway, I got me a hoodie. Hey, it looks so good this hoodie. Anyways, we're, gonna look, we're, gonna go, we're just going to go on. Anyways, the next question. I'm going to read the question I just read. To all the people who hang out in the bathroom at school. Did you do something in the bathroom? Was you smoking? Was you doing this in the bathroom? But we're going to go ahead and move on. Ahead and move on. Next question. I actually... I actually... I actually, I'm, I'm actually great at my job, but have no desire to get a promotion. I mean, that's on you. If you want to make, if you want to make less money, if that's on you. If you want to make less, less money, let's get into the good stuff because let's get a little draft. I miss manhandling my ex when I'm with my GF. Who oh, like manhandling? Like, put your hands on her. She should have called the cops on you. I don't know what age you are, but she should have called the cops on you. That's what she should have did. She should have called the cops on you. It will. I will probably end it today. I mean, you should have. You know, you need. You know, God. You need God. You know, make sure He can guide you the right path. You know, the right path. I always think he's cheating. Go to his phone then. Then you won't stalk him. That's what I do. Even if I had somebody. Anyway, I'm in, I'm in love with my boss. Next question. This would probably be unpopular. And it was. <laughs> and it was. I can't sleep with my skin exposed. Next question. No title. Okay. That is it for this video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Put down your deepest confessions down in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.